It is time to take away y'all's confusion because whenever I heard this terminology, honestly, I was getting confused as well. Well, we're gonna be talking about winter arcs. So what exactly does that mean and where did it come from? Um, I did not know this until I saw it on TikTok and I also made like a Google search, of course. Well, I actually asked ChatGPT to be honest, but it was telling me that it came from like an anime. And honestly, I don't know the name of the anime and I really don't care because I don't watch anime. The thing with me is that I watch real life things like soap operas, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, um, yeah, it came from an anime. Basically what it was, it was like this dude, I think, correct me if I'm wrong. This dude went and like he like took some time off, came back and he was like, at a different level essentially that's what it means right so now you see where the confusion comes from because this is very confusing so whenever i started doing more research on it i started realizing that this is a very positive thing so you know like during winter we stop caring about our diets we stop caring about like all our new year's resolutions and everything and the best way that someone put it on social media was that it's like the fourth quarter like, and I'm talking sports, I'm talking business, like that's basically what it is. It, you pretty much wanna just like give it your all and this is the last time that you can, you know, score a touchdown. This is the last time that you can get like 20 buckets in because you're losing. This is the time that you can make more sales because time is slowing down in the sense of like in a business, you know what I mean? During the holidays, some businesses take a hit. Like for example, the tire industry takes a hit. So right now uh, we try to sell a little bit more and we try to just like find ways to get customers in the door. So in a nutshell, that's pretty much what the winner arc is. And, but there's a specific set of rules that you have to follow in order to do this successfully. So to dissect this period that you're gonna be going through, uh, you wanna be quiet about it. And like I mentioned earlier in the whole anime, this is where kind of the worlds collide, right? The person, the, the main character was like pretty much quiet about it and came back and was like, you know, X, Y, and Z. So this is pretty much what you're trying to do. You're trying to like work on yourself without like showing off and telling other people. I really like this movement on social media because I feel like a lot of people uh, especially like they just are going through something right and a lot of the times I feel like we post on social media to kind of boast and pretend like we're feeling good and we're doing good and everything but I feel like this is a very very strong exercise because I feel like not only are you getting your mentality in check you're like doing all these things and everything all together of how you have to like eat healthier and how you have to work out and how you know you're documenting everything and like you have to work out every day so everything about this challenge honestly just tickles my fancy because i think it is very important for people forget about just guys right but like girls guys like for all of us to like have kind of like a community because right now bro like on TikTok, you don't understand every time i open my phone there's some kind of like community going on talking about all this stuff and like you know we got this let's keep going and it's just empowering bro and it's like it's for something positive it's not like a challenge of like who can stay on this video game the longest who can eat 10 burgers no bro it's like about putting yourself first and putting your health first which to me is amazing and i feel like you couldn't have it any other way. So yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and dive deeper into this whole thing and how you can participate and what you gotta do. Because I know you're probably still confused at this point. Okay, so essentially the first place that you wanna start is being reflective with yourself and kind of like looking at your goals. And I think an example that I had seen on TikTok that I think was super important and super like makes sense is like look at the goals that you made in the beginning of the year and then just like have those written out and then just bust your butt these next few months to just knock this out you know what i mean and i think that is definitely going to help because i feel like we are in a period where after this month we're just going to be in pure chaos bro like you know thanksgiving's coming up christmas is coming up so the thing is that like you want to take this time and just like be sure to have a set plan and then take it from there so now we move into the diet and exercise um they pretty much tell you to like start focusing a lot more on your health and prioritize that. Also have a set plan when it comes to working out and I think that's important as well because how the hell are you gonna like make gains and and whatnot if you don't have one or the other, right? I think diet and exercise are very hand in hand. So it is important that you have these things in order to like maximize the results in this whole like winter. Arc. So the next part is gonna be relaxation and honestly, I could have needed that last night and I screwed up. This is already, what, day three of the winter arc and I messed up. So I had really bad sleep last night. I only slept like, what, two, three hours? So yeah, that's the whole like important part about this as well. You need to like be able to meditate and you need to be able to like prioritize your sleep and get like seven to eight hours of sleep 
to like maximize the results of you eating healthy and you being able to like also perform at your maximum capacity at the gym. Not necessarily that you have to do this, but another thing that I've seen a lot on TikTok is them talking about like pushing yourself uh, creatively so i think this is important but you don't have to do it you don't have to be a social media guru not everybody is like involved in doing social media but what i've seen is that a lot of people are doing like daily vlogs pretty much and trying to push their creativity and like trying to like get better at editing or whatnot another thing too that i try to do as well is reading like this is very important as well because i feel like whenever you read you get like different perspectives and it doesn't have to be like about anything specific it can literally be what is it when it's fake or like whenever they make up stories? Is it fiction or nonfiction? I don't know. One of those. Um, I know that helps you like creatively because whenever you look like in the lens of someone else, it definitely helps you out just to kind of have like a different creative flow. Um, me personally, like whenever I used to vlog and I used to like try to cultivate this like story, I used to watch like Disney movies and I would try to get ideas from there because I noticed that the flow was kind of like good. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's neither here nor there. Um, I think it's important to push these things even outside of the winter arc. Honestly, guys, like I'm gonna say something before I continue. I feel like these things are like things we as humans need to do. I think this is like what our, what are they called? Like our ancestors were doing back in the day. Like not necessarily with the creative part, but like they would never stop improving. You know what I mean? And I feel like with social media, we take more time to ourselves. It's like we sit on the damn phone and we just start like going on our For You page and just watching stupid stuff. Like, you know what I mean? Like imagine the time you've wasted. Like. I think about that all the time and honestly it's pathetic and I'm upset at myself. <laughs> okay, so now kind of touching back on what I was talking about, um, another thing too is that you want to like kind of take away time from social media, take away time from like technology and that's super important. Also you want to be able to like spend time with your family and just have those relationships just super like intact because that's important as well. Um, that's something that I actually practice outside of the winter arc. I've been doing that a lot. I think I've talked in other videos where I spend a lot of time with my parents. So yeah, I try to do this with my parents. I've talked about this before that like, you know, I try to like, you know, just have different days for them. And obviously I can't spend time with them together because they hate each other's guts and they're divorced. So like, you know what I mean? I. I have to like kind of make schedules around them and honestly that works like I go to the grocery store with my mom I work with my dad and then like we go out to eat on the weekends so you know like I'm spending time with my parents and that's actually something I recommend you do and if you have siblings as well I don't have siblings but like if you have siblings spend time with them I think it's very important um, y'all have each other because that kind of stuff y'all are like unstoppable together in my opinion so now we get into the important part and it's all about the journey dude and i just feel like yes it's tough yes it's hard having like you know having to focus on a diet whatever focusing on all these things obviously now that like we're in the whole social media realm there's a lot of like recipes that you can make now and like with dieting and stuff like there's like a lot of fun foods you can eat honestly outside of just the food and everything you really need to like soak in what you're going through you know what i mean because this is important this is what real life is about challenging yourself trying to accomplish all these things and it'd be pathetic for you to give up especially on this you know what i mean it's only two months like two months and a half and you should be fine but the thing is that you just need to like knock this out and you should incorporate this more in your life not just like in this winter arc thing you need to do it all the time and honestly if you're going through some stuff, like in the sense of a breakup, if you lost a family member, if you just feel like your life sucks, I feel like this is going to push the boundaries and this is definitely going to make you feel better about yourself um, because sometimes we have this hectic schedule, but then you digressing from all this like party stuff and like, you know, going out and drinking and you know, doing all this stupid stuff, you can do something positive and this is gonna make you feel a lot better, trust me. So, that being said, I really appreciate y'all for watching this video. I hope I did good in this video and I like explained it very well. So, I really appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all in the next video, guys. Peace.